The battle between 4chan and Reddit. A war lost in internet history. Our story begins in 2012 with a couple of Redditors and their dreams to assert their dominance in gaming on the lowlifes of 4chan. The Redditors knew that they would have the upper hand in any game that they played. 4chan was unorganized and full of degenerates. Because of this, they decide to challenge 4chan's video game form, also known as V, to a best of five matches of none other than Tribes Ascend. What is Tribes Ascend, you may ask? Well, it's a free-to-play multiplayer-only first-person shooter developed by hi res Studios. This game favors high speeds through skiing and jetpacks, combined with some of the series' classic weapons. The objective of the game is to capture the enemy team's flag, the team that scores the most flag captures at the end of the game will be the winner of that match. 4chan accepted the challenge. The war was on. Reddit knew they had to win. They had to come prepared. They decided to select the best players possible to ensure their victory. They hopped on the Tribes of Sense subreddit to select only the best players. They hosted tryouts to weed out the weak. After hours of careful consideration and selection, Reddit's best team was good to go. Reddit's elite team would practice multiple times a week. They had to bring glory to Reddit to show the people of 4chan who the boss was. Months passed, and before anyone knew it, the day of the match was upon them. The people of 4chan had completely forgotten about the match. The Redditors were waiting and 4chan didn't have enough players. So 30 minutes before the match, 4chan was scrambling to round up enough people to play. They ended up picking random people from V, one of which was a Chilean sniper that had over 140 ping. The 4chan players got together in team speak, only meeting each other for the first time right before the match. They knew it was an uphill battle, they were determined to learn and conquer the match. The Reddit team saw this as a free victory, there was no way they could lose to this ragtag of a team. And just like that, the match started. 4chan versus Reddit. Here in Tribes Ascend, we're going to be getting started here any second now in, in Katabatic. I'm going to switch it over in just a second. I want to uh, give a big introduction, though, to the teams and say hi to Tweak, who will be my co-cast tonight, and Craig. Tweak, say hi. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming out. And we got Craig as well. Hello. So taking a quick look at the loadouts, I'll go down the uh, rosters real quick. For Team 4chan, we've got Cheesy Dean, Harblo, Utah, Great Stalin, Oxygen, Seth, Tagute, and Skulfy Paws on Team Blood Eagle, and uh, Diamond Sword. Which is Team Reddit. We got Video P, Everett, NK, Blinks, Floatwall, Dodgepong, SB, David Bowie, and Nile. All right, here we go. Getting started. So let's see what we got surging out here. Dodgepong going for the generator of Team Blood Eagle. The first match wasn't even close. Reddit destroys 4chan 5 to 1. And you do see the fifth cap there for Team Reddit. Reddit takes game one 5 to 1. But uh, it looks like, uh, looks like Reddit was definitely uh, a little bit more coordinated there. The second match went even faster than the first. Again, 4chan lost 5 to 1. Uh, turning it back towards the midfield, gonna look to take an impact nitron jump right there. T dealing 300 damage himself, we give him quite a bit of boost. Oxygen coming in on the stand. Utah Cheesy Hands got us pretty cleared. But oh, how are they not gonna get this e grab? Get it, get it, get it, pick it up, don't let it ever get it. Oh, why? Why Utah Cheesy Hands? Four, four, maybe five Reddit, or I'm sorry, 4chan guys on that stand there, unable to pick it up in time to uh, prevent Everett NK from getting that winning grab. I don't think I've ever seen uh, 4chan so polite and wondering who's gonna grab the flag. <laughs> so now we do see uh, Reddit is up two games to zero uh, in the, I guess, the match, and both of them have been 5-1, so uh, Reddit definitely looking very strong. 4chan was not in a good place. They had to figure something out. They were down to the last match. If they would lose this next match, the score would be 0-3 to and Reddit would become victorious. They didn't have any more room for failure. Many of the livestream viewers had already left. No one believes that 4chan will bring it back. But 4chan had a little fire burning inside of them. They knew that the match was far from over. They were getting the hang of the game, and they were ready to give it everything they got. They just had to win three games, after all. Match 3. It was all on the line. But this game was different than the rest. Something seemed to have changed about the 4chan team. This time, they meant business. After a long battle, it ended up going into overtime 4-4. But 4chan quickly secured the victory to finally get on the board. 
Always really great to see. Uh, two to zero now uh, is in favor of Reddit in the match. The score is four to four with three seconds remaining. We are going to see it go into overtime here now. One second. Scopey Paul's got it across the midfield, taking a look back at the 4chan stand. I see Kavile and Blinks coming in, maybe trying to do a little disruption, but Scopey Paul's is only about five seconds out. Dodgepaw and Kavile all trying to get in. Kavile looks like he's going to be stopped. David Bowie, Jula crashing the stand. Oh, Kavile goes down. Orbital strike being called in. Scopey Paul's going to try to stay in. No, they're not able to get the return. Oh, yes, they are. Scopey Paul's going to get the return. Oh! Wonderful move by 4chan. That was awesome. 4chan was still in the battle, but they had a long way to go if they wanted to win. The next match was extremely close, but again, 4chan secured victory. Oh, we do see a flag return, though, coming out. No, both flags down in the stand, in the field, except for the return. Oh, picking it back up. We are going to see the map go to 4chan. Tied 2-2. Two two. Oh, man, here we go. So, yeah, comeback general indeed. Utah saying dragon dildos. The obligatory, uh, of course, favorite, uh, I think, latex product of 4chan's video game board. And, I'm uh, we wow. Haven't been, uh, I'm shocked we haven't been asked to shoe on head yet. At this point, the overall match scores were 2-2. 4chan caught up to Reddit's 2-win lead, and everything was all tied up. It was all up to the 5th and final match to determine who would win the war. I'll just let the ending speak for itself. Oh, so close, so close to flag down in the field where they'll get the return here now though. Video P, no, Video P misses. Scopey Ball's also not going to be able to get it. Great style and Blink's able to pick it up in that scramble. Goes down. Scopey down again. Out there. No, misses it. Great style there's a return. Are we going to see the battle cap from the Blink's? Yes, there it is! It. Uh, 4chan! Oh my god! 4chan with a wonderful come from behind in the original 2-0-5-1. Both mats in favor of Reddit. Incredible comeback uh, for 4chan. It was a little slow at first, but uh, they definitely came out really strong in Crossfire. What do you think put it over for them, Bart? Oh my gosh, what a game, dude. It was... I'm, I'm like sitting here trying to digest it. 4chan's deployable play through at the end of game two into game three, four, and five was really strong, and I think it really put Reddit over. And the memes were glorious. Fortune was amazed that they had been crowned victors. With the odds stacked against them, they overcame the challenge and rose up. Luckily, Reddit was really good about it too. They congratulated 4chan on their victory. But it's always important to remember, never underestimate the underdog.